Tasmania winning the toss and sending WA into bat. I, I guess the thoughts as the, the, the match is, is getting underway. I mean, I was one of the generation of, of young cricketing fans that are underway here. First ball, and that is just tucked neatly into the onside and no run. But, yeah, I think that's very competitive. That one's tossed up by Strano. Gave that one a little bit more air, and it's hooked down the ground aggressively. Day liked the look of it and said, I'll... Their moments um, in that Ashes series obviously didn't get any success. In it as that's driven down the ground, just straight past the stumps. And don't worry about the outfield on that one. That's been hit firmly enough for Paparo to get her first boundary of the morning. And a good positive start from WA. To bat for as long as she can. Paparo almost flat bats that one down the ground. And it's well struck for a boundary, a timely boundary for WA. Day works that one in the air. It's going to be taken. The opening partnership broken. Sarah Coit breaks through. And Day is on her way. And generally you see that with the quicker bowlers. If it's glanced off the pads like that, it'll race away to the boundary. Is that one an, an uppercut? That one will go for four. Smith, that short run in. Tosses up and driven back down the ground. Past mid on. Now this will test the pace of the outfield. It gets to the boundary. So good shot there by Chloe Paparo. Swept away magnificently there by Maddie Dark, and they'll pick up a boundary, so a good shot. Which is the main thing. Paro whisked that one away onto the odd side, and that should bring up the half century. Oh, fuck. No, no, bad, no, bad, no, works no, that no, one no, away no. down towards the deep mid wicket boundary, and it's well struck. It continues the run for WA here. This partnership grows. Trained in a different environment. Paparo trying to do the reverse sweep, and she stood on her stumps effectively. Well, how about that? That is as unconventional as it gets for a dismissal. Chloe Paparo making contact with the stumps, and there's the much-needed breakthrough for Tasmania. She's made contact with the stumps, applying a reverse sweep, and oh. as, you, as you can see on replay, she's hit the top of the... Took it to her. And that one's in the air from Carmichael, and it's been very well caught. Went for the sweep, didn't get enough of it, probably too much off the, the, the bottom edge of the bat. It floated in the air and getting around there, Emma Mannix-Jeeves, the youngster, to take a good diving catch. That one attempted sweep and that will be out. The finger went up from Sarah Elliott just before it went up from the umpire in blue. And it looks very, very good from our vantage point. And it's now a triple strike. That's three for seven in two overs for Queensland and that is bold very close to the stumps and dark trying to cut that one away and it just jagged back in and that's what we're talking about by stump to stump she thought that was just outside off stump but it kept coming at her that's a great example of what Sarah Coit brings to the table here and just picked looking for something that wasn't quite there was Maddie Dark, mixed up a pace a little bit, comes in again now, and this one's heaved away on the onside. There's a little bit of room out there and we might see a boundary we do. So a boundary there to Piper Cleary. Molly runs up, tosses it up, and it's worked away off the onside for, they should look for two, do they? They come back for two, chance for a run out, out. Or is it? Well, there was no, no appeal on the end. Pretty casual stuff there. The bales were taken off there by Rachel Priest, and we'll just have to wait for confirmation on that one. Yeah, 121 at the time, and then the three wickets fell for seven runs, so um, just confirming that. We're just waiting for that confirmation that final. Well, we think there was one off it, we think, and, and a run out would make it six for 188. So here we go. First ball of the innings for Tasmania. Piper Cleary into Mannix Jeeves, who works that one off her pads, just back with a square leg. And we'll pick up the single, obviously, the power play in vogue as well. So Priest is gone, knocked over. Fantastic delivery there from Brickcliff, just broke through. And effectively, the first wicket is down, and the dangerous Priest is on her way. Oh, Milani, you can pick that ramp shot from a mile away. Works it towards the boundary. Does it have enough leverage to get there? Yes, it does. Elise Milani with the exotic shots. Obviously, they're all the Kansas. Bold, straight through. Britcliffe gets the breakthrough. Volani's gone for 34. That is a great reward.
for what we were just talking about, accurate stump-to-stump -stump bowling. Fantastic work there from Zoe Britcliffe and a big wicket. And Hall this time goes in the air over mid-wicket as she picked the gap, certainly has. Full toss, dispatched away there by Corinne Hall. That's hit with such ferocious power that that will definitely reach the rope and the fence. All going the big tonk. Can this be the half century? It's out towards the deep mid-wicket boundary. It's going to stop dead. <laughs> That's how slow the outfield is. <laughs> She'll come back for at least two. And they push for the third. She's going to get run out. So unfortunate there for Corinne Hall taking the game on. She was on the cusp of a half century, but she's been run out with some good work in the outfield. Brickcliffe back into the attack and with immediate effect. She knocks over Mannix Jeeves with a brilliant delivery. And all of a sudden, WA registered two wickets in quick succession. Cleary continuing, Stellenberg. Well, that's a way to start. First delivery straight down the ground for a boundary. There's a message. Stellenberg again, looking for the oh. boundary. Could this be two consecutive boundaries? Ooh. Yes, it is. And oh. Stellenberg's gone, trying to oh. pull that one away. Oh. And ultimately, it cannons. Into the off stump. Stalenberg gone at the death. Good bowling from Piper Cleary. Holly Strano works it away, and those are the winning runs. Tasmania, three victories in four games to start off the WNCL season. And they're in decent form at the moment. They claim victory over Western Australia in the nation's capital. And they've set up a good foundation and platform for the remainder of the WNCL campaign. Uh, in Canberra. Having a look at the match summary, Western Australia posting 6 for 188. And Chloe Preparo setting the tone as the leader of that camp. 54 off 88 deliveries, and her wicket was probably the decisive moment of the innings. An unusual one in which 